everybody, that's Hustles, and welcome to the lore video. In case you haven't noticed, I have my glasses on today um, because I am playing a deck that requires that I look very smart, even if I'm not. And also, fun fact, I actually need my glasses to see. That's right, I actually need glasses. These aren't just like prop glasses, like these are my legit glasses because I need them to see. But I decided to wear them today, as I don't normally, uh, because I'm nearsighted, so I don't really need to wear them all the time, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I decided to wear them today because I feel like I need the aesthetic to look smart because we're playing a fucking infinite OTK deck. Woo! So there's been a trend that's been going around now in the Rutera community, which is uh, using OTK infinite stupid decks. So uh, it's the whole point of it is Akshan has this cool little Warlord's Horde. And when this is upgraded, you get this cool little card called Fountain Power. Draw two, your cards cost one less this round. So the whole point is to have a bunch of cards. So it's every card you play this round costs one less. The whole point is to play like three of these. Have all your cards get discounted by three. And then doing some infinite bullshit, whether that's recalling Zillion a hundred times. So you can play a hundred time bombs. Then each time bomb draws you another time bomb. So you can just keep time bomb, time bomb, time bomb, time bomb, time bomb, time bomb. Until your opponent dies. Or if it's say doing something like playing... Vault Breaker, 15 times with an upgrade Ezreal on the board. So you do 15 burst damage. Oh yeah, that's what we're doing. So this deck is, um, I guess not actually an infinite combo. It's like, uh, it's just an OTK combo, not really infinite. It can't actually go on indefinitely. So the point of this deck is to get Akshan out. We want Akshan, upgraded Akshan, and Warlord's Horde. Once we get Warlord's Horde, we want to Promising Future, the Warlord's Horde. Once it gets Promising Future, we want to Talia it so we can get four, that's right, four of these stupid Fount of Power bullshits. We get four of those. Now every card in our hand is discounted by four. Play is to get have Ezreal upgraded. We have two Scrying Scans, Scrying Scans, three Quick Scans, and three Static Shocks. Hopefully we can target enough things to get upgraded with that. And once Ezreal is upgraded, then he does one damage to the enemy Nexus every time you cast a spell. Vault Breaker will cast, cost zero mana. And Vault Breaker creates a fleeting Vault Breaker in hand when you cast it. And Vault Breaker will cost zero. And his fleeting copy will cost zero. And since there is a limit actually on spells, you can only play one, the same spell 15 times. So, Vault Breaker we can only play 15 times. Aw, that's only 15 points of damage for Ezreal. But we also have things like Rummage, Time Trick, Static Shocks, you know, our Scrying Sands, Ancient Hourglasses. We do have other spells in our deck, and these other spells can get us to that 20 damage. So, in theoretically, this deck is a one-turn OTK. If you pop off, you should be able to take them from 20 to 0 instantly without them having any reaction reactability. That's the game plan, and it takes a lot of planning correctly. And I have fucked it up so many times, and I hope I don't fuck it up here, because I ha that's why I have the glasses, so I can be smarter. So yeah, let's uh, let's have some fun, and let's play some infinite st OTK stupid decks. Woo! Alright, so the most important thing in this deck is getting Akshan. We are playing against the LeBlanc Sivir deck. We got the Akshan. Um, I actually kind of like the Boon Maboon and the Rummage. It gives, gives us a nice set of blockers. So we are trying to get Akshan... Leveled. Summon Akshan. Got the Warlord's Palace created. Nice. We can get attack with him in the open to get this knocked down by one. And we can summon the Vagabond as well. The health of our opponent doesn't really matter. We uh, we don't really care because we're planning to 100 to 0 them anyway. Or 20 to 0, I guess. In this case. So it doesn't really matter what our opponent's health is. It just matters that our Warlord's Palace is completely quicker. Now Akshan is upgraded faster and we get his upgraded thing faster. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Um, so unfortunately he did get vulnerable, but... You like it? I mean, shut up and fight. We do have Ancient Hourglasses. Keep him alive. A static Shock. Probably just use the ancient hourglass though. Places to go, people to be. Mm hmm. 
I might need a double hourglass. So I'm actually just going to save it. Because if he might use like um, a Draven's Whirling Death. I'm okay with with that. So he might Whirling Death this, in which case I'm going to need to use a second hourglass. Alright, we can summon our baboon. I could have quicksanded there too, but quicksand doesn't play around whirling death. Um, because he could have whirling death on the 4-3. And I needed to... I guess I could have whirling death, and, but I'd be feel bad if I hourglassed and quicksand. So, I'd much rather do this to guarantee that the palace gets upgraded because it'll count down one and then Akshan will pop it by one and then we'll get our uh, palace. Pretty solid. Hey, there we go. Woo! Good stuff, good stuff. We can attack. Got 3-3, three, three, the quick attack. A uh, little difficult for them to deal with without additional spells and things. Can definitely just try to kill him. You know, it's an option. But discounting our treasure trove a little bit. Our warlord's horde. And doing a little bit of damage. Again, while unnecessary, is still nice. Uh, predicted draw, the best thing we can do. Um, I kind of like the urchin here. It gives me more units. Count down the horde one. More draw is always nice. Um, and I'm going to static shock to make sure I can get rid of her spell shield so she doesn't give spell shield to everyone. Want to be able to play quicksand on her if need be. He can just use a bloody business here and kill Akshan, because he can use it to strike. Be a little annoying if he did, considering we are now out of mana for our tricks. Don't do it now. Don't do it now. Alright, nice. <laughs> uh, Akshan has some funny lines. Funny lines. All right, we've got a house spider. That's fine. We have more than enough uh, tools at our disposal. I'm going to time trick to see if we can draw something specific. Um, hmm. I like the static shock. I also kind of like the second auction, though. Both are pretty nice. I guess I love the static shock, actually. It's pretty solid. Static Shock is pretty nice here. It can be used to kill LeBlanc. Which is pretty good, pretty good. Would you look at this place? No, I'm not going to look at this place. Leave me alone. Business as usual. Alright, so he's going for attack that we totally expected, of course. Um... Yeah, I can go like this. Akshan will die. But, I mean, killing two of his units with the stag shock, I think is pretty nice. Sad day for Akshan, but he kind of did complete his mission in getting the Warlord's Horde out. And now we have four out of six for Ezreal. Isn't a too shabby. Um, and I can Zonite into the Zonite. Draw another card. And the Warlord's Horde gets counted down. Pretty solid there. Um, I also just will summon the Warlord's Horde again. Because why not? I don't mind that. This will get discounted pretty soon. I could... Um, I mean, it'll be... Two turns. 
In two turns, it'll be disc... And my, by my next turn, right, because end, it'll go to two, then one. So I can guarantee that on my next attack turn, I can get this to pop. So I need him not just to not be able to kill me on his attack turn. So I have to survive one more attack, and then I can win. The soul wears away like rains of sand. Yeah, we can survive. I'm pretty sure I can survive one more attack. We should have enough blockers. Uh, Sivir isn't leveled up either. It's pretty far away from it, I think. It's only at 12. So... Oh, we're still at 19 health. I think we're good. I think we can survive. And then we can win! We just need to draw Ezreal. Because we have... We can get Ezreal a 5 out of 6 with this. We need one more. And we... We need to draw a little bit more. I don't want to take up a, a, a slot, though, to do this. To play the landmark. And I have two mana, so I can just wait for the rummages. Because I'll probably rummage the Preservarium in the other rummage way. Well, I guess I can... I can rummage away the Hourglass. I don't need Hourglass anymore. Yeah, I can get rid of Hourglass. It's now useless. We need Vault Breaker. We need Quicksand. Um, and that's that's about it. Everything else is can be tossed aside. This person doesn't know what else they're doing. Or they just quit. I hope they didn't quit. You're still in this game. All right, good. Um, we can get definitely get rid of one of these and get rid of the hourglass. Wow, that was actually just useless. Promising future and rummage. Okay, not exactly ideal. You just double rummaged. Danger pays. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's whatever. I can make this countdown twice. Hopefully he doesn't have a... I mean, have to have the... The reputation dude costs four, right? Or does he cost two? No, he costs six. There's a dude that gives, that gives rally, who has reputation rally. I don't know how much he costs, but I'm a little afraid. Alright, um, I guess we can press a barium too. Another promising future. Alright. Time trick. I mean, we're going for it. I gotta, I gotta draw Ezreal in here somewhere, right? So... We got three of these. We got a shit ton of cards. Let's go for it. How many cards do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So playing one more of these gets me to ten. Akshan. Let's play him. Let's get another one. We have twelve cards left in our deck. Ezreal is, is part of that. Alright, so he, he does have the thing there. Um, we do have the baboon though. So we have blockers with the baboon. We got blockers. We have a quicksand. It's a living. We have two quicksands actually. All right, we're gonna use one of the quicksand. Stop Sivir from uh, being able to give keywords to everyone. That's fine. I don't care if she lives or dies. I just don't want her keywords to get everyone. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I still want to give everyone quick attack. All right, sweet. Sentinel's Horde, draw two. Another Akshan. Sure, I'll we'll summon another Akshan. You have 10 cards left in our deck. We have two predicts. We should be able to win. Get rid of you, get rid of Promising Future. 
Ezreal, Talia. Nice to have you guys on board. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, now we just win. Let's play Ezreal. Don't blink or you miss me. <sighs> Close my eyes, but you're still here. Now Ezreal levels up. I'm so good, I Woo! We did it, guys. We did it. Ezreal levels, and now we go for it. We still have 14 times we can cast Vault Breaker. <laughs> and our opponent surrenders because he sees what's happening. Hell yeah. One step closer to a world without villains. Hell yeah. Love to see it. Love to see it. We got the combo off. Ezreal is victorious. Victorious. I mean, that's the whole combo. Uh, <laughs> we did it. I'm not even sure if I want to show it off anymore because we did it. Like, that's it. That's how it works. It's just, we got it exactly. We played all of our things. And uh, we played Ezreal. And then Ezreal win. So... Yeah, that's the OTK. That's the, after seeing Swim do all the stuff, I had to make my own OTK deck with Akshan. So I did. And it's fun. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed the deck. Please try it out for yourselves. I don't think it's the best deck to climb with because um, it's a little hard to get to that combo stage without like dying against fast decks or decks with giant power swings. But it is still very fun regardless. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.